Now, Eyewitness Sports. Good evening, everyone. We start with baseball. The Red Sox and Marlins continue their series in Miami tonight with Boston looking to win game two and prevent a five-game losing streak. We pick it up in the seventh. No score when Kelly shot, but gives Boston a 1-0 advantage with a double to the warning track, his 10th RBI of the season. And it gets contagious. Next batter is Mike Avilas, and he catches the fever, bringing Kelly home with an RBI single of his own. It's Mike. Mike's only hit of the night, and the Red Sox stop the bleeding this evening. They win 2-1 the final for their first victory in five outings. Joe Girardi and the Yankees at Turner Field tonight looking for their second consecutive win over the Braves. And what an effort for the Bombers. Down four in the eighth until A-Rod clears the bases with a shot to left. His first grand slam of the year. And we're all tied at four. Still in the eighth. Nick Swisher steps up with a two-run blast. And that's all the pinstripes would need. The Yankees take it in dramatic fashion. 6-4. They have won five in a row. Joe Madden and the Rays hosting the Mets tonight. Bottom first, David Wright hits this one short, but Elliot Johnson can't make the routine play. Jordani Valdespin scores, and New York is up by one. The veteran Hideki Matsui celebrating his birthday tonight, and he hits this one off the wall and right for his fifth RBI of the year. Nice birthday present. But the Mets had all the answers. Valdespin had a pair of hits and four RBIs in the contest. New York prevails 11-2. Tampa Bay's loss gives New York, the Yankees, that is, sole possession of first place in the American League East. The NFL preseason is just two months away, and the Patriots began their quest for a fourth Super Bowl today as they opened up minicamp in Foxborough. A few familiar faces were on the practice fields, including Tom Brady and Deion Branch. And it seems like just yesterday when the Pats were taking on the Giants in the Super Bowl and the veteran squad is all business as they prepare for the upcoming competition. You know, it went pretty well. I mean, we were able to get out there and, and uh, really execute together and, and uh, really work on some things. And, and uh, overall, I think it was a good day. We still have a lot of work to do, but um, I think it was a good start for us. And history was set in Los Angeles last night as the Kings beat the Devils in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals, giving the franchise its first championship in 45 years. And it was also a milestone for Hamden's Jonathan Quick, who was the star in goal for the Kings. The Connecticut legend was awarded with the Conn Smythe Trophy for being the most valuable player in the postseason. Quick had a 1.41 goals against average throughout the playoffs, which is the best performance by any championship goalie in nearly 52 years. Jonathan was born in Milford, and that city has declared this Thursday the official Jonathan Quick Day. Needless to say, his performance will go down as a major accolade in Stanley Cup history. To get that attention towards hockey, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just an uh, honor to be on this team, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, uh, glad to be a part of it. Well, really a great effort for Jonathan Quick. Also a good day. All the local baseball teams taking care of business. Yeah. Very exciting for the state. It is. So oh, what do you think? Great. Do we keep them? Do we do a good job tonight? Great. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, Welcome. Mary. Well, yeah. it's great to be here. As I said before, it's an <laughs> honor.